guys how do you know clinically that a person has rheumatoid arthritis okay so if many joints are involved you can give them a high score right if there is a, you can find the rheumatoid factor in their blood or if you can find acpa what is acpa anti citrullinated peptide antibody if you can find this anti citrullinated peptide antibody can i say this word anti citrullinated peptide antibody this if it is there actually it is very specific anti citrullinated peptide antibody acpa acpa if you find this acpa it is very very specific of rheumatoid arthritis okay so just remember acpa acpa if it is there or rheumatoid factor if you find then also high score then if you see the duration it should be greater than 6 weeks then also you can give one uh, more score if there is esr raised or um, uh, this uh, c reactive protein also abnormal then also you can give one extra point okay so if these people have greater than or equal to 6 then they will be uh, you can clinically diagnose them of uh, rheumatoid arthritis people okay so just remember symmetric joints are will be involved in rheumatoid arthritis if this is involved this is uh, left is involved right is also involved that is when nice about uh, rheumatoid arthritis nice or not so nice Okay. and uh, these people uh, will have um, uh, pain in the joint right so basically how will this be symmetrical they will be the tenderness of the joint swelling of the joint will be uh, symmetrical on left on right side okay and um, then what, what will you see in the joints guys in the x ray you will see that there is marginal joint erosion okay osteoporosis also you can see